uh, Vandal, but he still he still goes under psyched. He goes under both. That guy's a legend. Let's go. Where's Oreo? Sit down. I need the knowledge. What's up, Oreo? Yo. What's good? Will it will it change the CPU usage for the computer? And okay. Well, uh, I'll get on that in a sec. So. What do we have? Uh, Roxo and Shippo? Yep, Garchomp breaks in. Um, these two play all the time. I mean, everyone here comes here is a pretty much a regular at this point, so we all know these matchups. We all know how everyone plays. Um, Roxo, very hyper-aggressive uh, Garchomp. Loves to go in, loves to get those uh, those wall combos. Yeah, the wall combos. Um, I guess he's known for that's, that. That's, it's not even what Roxo's known for. It's what Garchomp is known for. Garchomp right. excels um, up against the wall. Yeah. Um, breaks in is a very good mid-range and zoner character. Um, uh, and she has um, a lot of um, a lot of like little quirks to her. Like she has this move. Called, you see her like uh, charging up called Sunny Day, yeah. which boosts her attack power. Right. Um, and you'll start to see her use her um, her supports a lot more than any other character because Breaksin can build up her support gauge faster um, than most characters in the game. Uh, He's already at one, and we haven't even hit dual phase yeah. once. I think he played that entire match in field. No, no, no. We, we hit dual phase once. Oh, once. Yeah. But once. Yeah. That's still something, right? <laughs> For a character that's trying to get in on you and push you into the wall, yeah. uh, being able to wall that character out with a mid-range character like yeah. breaks in is actually really good grab. Uh, interesting. But that uh, was a good grab. He's yeah. in the wall now. Bring me bring me Mad Luck. Mad Luck was just on. You just missed him. Yeah, yeah shout out to the Catfight in the chat who's both here and... <laughs> Catfight is somewhere <laughs> in this <laughs> venue. No, he's, he's in the over venue here. and he's in the chat at the same time. I, I, Gotta love those people. Yeah. He's the real fiend. Support gauge max, but the burst is here for oh, that's gonna, Oh, no. that might catch. Yup, that's did. gonna catch. That caught him. That burst reaches almost the entire screen in dual phase. That's awesome. Yeah, it, it is. Uh, it is. It is horizontally powerful, but vertically challenged. If, if okay. You, <laughs> no, no, no. I get it. There's there was some um, stuff that's when, like when that. When Catfight and Shippo were playing, they um. Shippo, or Catfight did like uh, his uh, windmill move where he like uh, spins in the air and Shippo read it and did the burst attack and Catfight just went right over it and hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Alright. I can pop Togekiss. Togekiss gives a, uh, a speed boost um, to Karagos so she becomes a uh, breaks in the hedgehog oh. just being able to like run around. Oh yeah. It, it kind of looks like uh, Roxo had him in the corner pretty hard there but it looks like uh, Shippo's actually going to work his way out. Yep. Can he capitalize off of this? Yep, gets the double sunny day, boosts his attack, throws out a fire blast just to get some trip damage. That homing attack could get punished, but Roxo wisely gonna burst. Uh, okay, time the burst, is, 17 seconds left. Time is running out. Shippo probably just gonna run away with Togekiss at this point. See how, <laughs> see how fast she is? Wow. See, it looks like, oh, and he caught him. Uh, that, that's a grab. Oh, but there's a grab. Uh, yeah, di the actual dig hit is very punishable on block. Um, so if, up, uh, wow. and, and the broom gonna take him out. The Brooms and actually take that first uh, that first match. Yep, Shippo's gonna take game one. Let's go, Shippo. Shippo looking real good. That was really uh, that was really strong. Yeah, no, Shippo. Um, I'm actually surprised that he didn't just run the clock there. He could just run away. He could have. He absolutely could have. Um, but I think he felt uh, it might have been better just to finish him off, just in case Roxo mounted some sort of a comeback. Plus, Roxo digging on shield was an easy, easy punish. Right. Um, right. Well, actually, Roxo is in the lead in uh, damage, right? So, uh, is, does it go by percentage? Or it goes does it by percentage. It does okay, not go by damage. Okay, because every character has different health values. Right? Yeah. So, okay, I was wondering that. So, yeah. uh, I guess that means that Shippo was technically in the lead. But, yo, shout outs to 50 viewers. Yeah, I that's just noticed sick. that. 50 viewers, Craig Asm, <laughs> Pog Champ. No, something I love. Twitch memes. Something I really love about the Pokemon community is that they're all like super tight knit. And they just show up. And they just show up for every tournament that's on stream. That's lit, dude. It's great. That's awesome. I, I wish I uh, was more involved in this community. I, th I think you I'm should gonna try to. Yo, pick up the game. Like it's a lot of fun. Well, I did on its release. I played it a lot on its release, and I was like, I'm gonna be the best Pokemon player. And then life was like, Nah. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, Shut up, Risen. You have a you have a full time job, and you play two other games competitively. You don't have time for this. So, um, oh, nice grab. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, canceling the uh, the counterattack into a grab there, especially with Togekiss, makes it super fast. Yeah. And reads the jump, tries to get a combo off of it, but just barely drops it. Oh, almost finishes him off with that hit, but yep. looks like we have a... Uh, I'm going to set him up for Miss Magius. Uh, Miss Magius uh, creates uh, sometimes an unblockable setup mm -hmm. um, where you're either forced to block or Whoa. try and get around it. 
Yeah. That's going to be it. Oh, no, he dropped. Almost got the follow. But, oh, oh, there's the there grab. You go. Is that going to do it? Gets the command grab on the wall, and that's going to be it. Wow. Ship item at two and goes down. That's too bad. Almost walked away with that plain 20, right? Because di Oh, did he have that last game? No, no, no he no, didn't no, have the round. He didn't, he didn't have the round, yeah. right? Uh, uh, Counter-attack beating out the boomerang. People tend to let that counterattack go early when they're up against Boomerang, and they get s and they just like fall right into it. Up, oh, that's a crit. But it's not a crit. The overhead into the combo, wall combos. Here we go. All right, nice job there. Shippo already at one third of his health left. All right. Ooh, here's the homing attack. Shippo taking a lot of damage here, but Good. Nine Tails comes out. Yeah, Nine Tails creates invincibility and gets the stun, hmm. and the attack debuff. And that was very nice. Roxo is in full control here. Looks with like Roxo is probably going to run away with this if he keeps up the momentum. Good oh. grab. That's it. That's it. And Roxo one, one. takes it. Yeah, man. We're going to game three. So two one-sided games. Shippo having a really one-sided match. And uh, right back at it with Roxo. So we're going to game three here. Yeah, Ninetales um, makes you inv gives you uh, invincibility frames on startup. And then, if anyone runs into it after that point, they get uh, they get stunned and an attack debuff. Hmm. So, and it also blocks um, certain projectiles. So it's really it's really useful against breaks and who a good uh, a lot of, of it, is, a uh, lot of it's projectiles. projectiles yeah. However, people seem, tend to mistake the uh, the boomerang for projectile when it's actually not. It's a physical attack. So anything that blocks projectiles does nothing versus the boomerang. Huh. Yeah. Well, that makes a little bit of sense. A little bit. Yeah. Fire blast. Oh, digs right under it. All right, and Shivo just trying to keep him out now. Can do some zoning. Oh, that... Oh, gets crit there. Nice dig. Sometimes he just has to let it go. Um, and he has to commit to it. Yeah. Uh, Roxo um, learned that at DTN, uh, where uh, he, a lot... Many times, Roxo wouldn't commit to the dig, and he would almost always go for the jump cancel, mm -hmm. and he got punished for it. But he's learned to start... He's learned to really try to read it and connect with it more, which I'm really liking from him. Right. But you oh. do have to be careful, because... Support and burst comes out back-to-back -back for Shippo, though. Goes to the Stone Edge, doesn't connect. Yeah. The so overhead going to trade there, but Roxo gets the advantage, and now Shippo's up against the wall. Not where he wants to be at all. Oh, this is not a good position for him, no. Throws out the Miss Mages. The but only way, the only way out of this... Out. Yeah. That's going to connect. Yeah, yep. that's in. Is that going to kill? Um, I don't think so. I think it'll scale. It's going to bring close. He doesn't have an attack buff, um, and Shippo isn't in red health, so there's no rage. Yeah, yeah so. okay, not even close. Okay, so no rage, um, but there is a uh, support, which he's going to burn right now. There's also there's also 18 seconds on the clock, so if Rox is not Good grab! Oh. Ten seconds left. Is there a way? Oh, no. That's it. That's it. Roxo takes that round. Roxo runs him down right into the corner and just takes that game. So, this is uh, this is match point for Roxo here. That aerial home attack gonna get stuffed. Match point and set point. This could be it. All right, gonna pop. kiss coming out. Oh, nice dodge there. But Nine Tails gonna keep him Nine out. Nine Tails is here, playing keep away. See how the boomerang gets around it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. No burst or supports left on the map. It's going to be pure neutral here in the dual phase. Roxo is close to building up his burst, though. So um, mm -hmm. if this game lasts long enough, uh, Shippo's going to be in some trouble. It's looking like it, but lots of All bursts right, coming nice in. All right, nice phase shift there. For both players. Oh, oh and the and burst is up. Roxo has his burst. Goes for the sand tomb, but the counterattack's going to connect. There's the counter. Hits him into the wall. Here comes the combo. Going to let it drop. Let's cool. him get oh, up. Oh, he's, he's got the read there. And... Uh, Shippo at 1 HP has to... Shippo at 1 HP. All right, good job nice. there, just strafing with the projectiles. He's going to pop his burst right now. They both do it at the same yep. time. Now, Shippo's going to need a miracle here to stay in this match. They both go for it, but Roxo's is invincible. So Roxo's going to get this? No. No! The first frame of Roxo's is invincible, and the first frame of uh, Breaks is invincible. Um, but Breaks can sometimes get knocked out of hers, so I thought that might connect. But after Roxo's first slash... Yeah. Um, it's not invincible anymore, so that's okay. why ship was connected. Whoa, and he's doing some extra damage here. Goes for Runs the, oh, in that's and gets it. grabbed. Oh, that's too nah, bad. He, he went for the grab, but uh, Roxo read it and went for the homing attack, so he got crit. So Very Roxo nice. is going to take that. 2-1 over Shippo. Hey, Shippo played really well, though. No, nah, good games to both of them. 